Welcome back students this is your Chendu Gaut in today's video I am going to cover certain important concepts as well as the questions related to the course basic electrical and electronics engineering I mean BEEEE for mechanical civil and other course of engineering. Dear students I have taken into consideration few important questions and the concepts where the student feels the subject is too difficult and I hope you will be preparing with the concepts which I am going to let you know in this video and do not skip it and share with your friends also. As per the COVID pattern you all are aware that out of 8 questions you are supposed to attempt any 5 and the first and foremost gunshot question I can give you is the 8th question which is being covered from unit 5. It is all about the construction and working principle of BJT as well as the comparison of CE, CB and CZ configurations or FET construction and the working principles and the problems related to it and the differences between BJT and versus FET. I can expect this question or even this question from the unit I mean the 8th question in the question paper. Make sure to work out all these problems to get good marks. Later I have taken into consideration the unit 1 it is also very important and lengthy as per the pattern COVID pattern you will be getting 2 questions from here. The first and foremost gunshot question I can give you is Khrushchev's voltage law as well as the current law and the problems related to is a gunshot question for sure. Later the electrical circuit elements of RL as well as RC and the waveform representations and the star and delta connections and the relations as well as the problems related to it is also one of the gunshot question. From this part dear students you will be getting 1A as well as 1B. Make sure to work out all this later. Explain the terms such as peak and RMS values, power factor as well as the differences between real, apparent and reactive power may be also one of the 10 mark question and a problem related to may be asked. Later these two are the gunshot questions of which one will be asking for sure I mean the single phase AC circuit along with the problems and three phase balance circuit and the problems related to it and sometimes they may be asking you the analysis of I mean the simple circuit with DC excitation. These all are the important questions for the question 2A as well as 2B dear students from this part. Dear students do carry your stationery and you are supposed to work out all the circuit diagrams only in pencil very neatly to score a better mark. Later the unit 2 is also very interesting and very easy. There may be asking certain gunshot questions such as list out the various types of batteries and important characteristics and sometimes they will be asking the battery backup also and the types of wires and cables and the importance of the earthing may be also one of the question and LT switch gear its components with a neat sketch is also is a one of the very very important and gunshot questions and problem related to it and from this part you will be getting one question for sure I mean 3A as well as 3B and the problems on energy consumption as well as battery backup and power factor and from this part you are going to get a fourth question I mean 4A as well as 4B. Do not students do not expect direct 15 mark question it is a combination of AB 87 as well as 10 5 split. How to take a theory paper I have uploaded a video in this channel please go through it and work accordingly by following my tips and instructions. Later the third unit is all about the transformers as well as the generators and the question related to the transformer is a gunshot question and the first and the foremost gunshot question I can give you is a single phase transformer working and along with the circuits and the problems as well as the problem related to find out the losses and the efficiency. Make sure if you are working with the concept of the working principle you need to work out even related problems regarding three phase transformer is also one of the gunshot question and from these two questions you will be getting one question for sure I mean 5A as well as 5B dear students and sometimes they may be asking the differences between DC generators as well as synchronous generators or the synchronous generator working principle is also one of the very very important and gunshot question later DC motor speed control and torque equation as well as three phase induction motor torque and conduction and from this part you will be getting one question for sure. I mean 6A as well as 6B. Sometimes as the unit 4 is also too lengthy in its structure I did not take into consideration. They may be asking the 6th question even from the 4th unit also dear students. For sure from this part you are going to get 6 questions whichever the topics I have covered here. Make sure to work out accordingly and score a better mark. Dear students do not forget to carry your calculator and the stationery to the exam and make sure to cl clear this subject 
in the first attempt hope you are liking my videos and do subscribe to my channel and if you are looking for any other course please do comment hope you will like it good luck and god bless you all thank you